I did so many burpees. 3,000 to be exact. And it was fun. It's a movement all about falling down and getting back up. The goal is not to get sore. The goal is to show up every day, less intensity, more consistency, more growth cycles. So here's a fun fact to start things off. When I started the challenge, I didn't even know what a proper burpee was. And you're just gonna have to trust me on saying that I did the 100 burpees. I did film a lot of them, but it's kind of boring to watch. So I took some notes along the way and here are my top five takeaways. But first, let's note a pretty drastic change in body composition. Now the photos might be flawed because I took the first photo before a burpee session and the last photo after the final burpee session. Doing the burpee, what kind of effort I was putting into each part. I mean, it seems like a small movement, but when you get into it and really look at it, a little flaw in your form is gonna add up a lot. I'll also note here that after I addressed my form, my resting state became normal. Spending my workouts in the gym for a long time, and when you're doing some sort of big movement like this that incorporates your whole body and gets you off the floor, you just walk around feeling more confident than if you were just doing an isolated, you know, curve. You realize how those little lifestyle factors affect your performance in profound ways. There were days that I had coffee before I did them, days that I didn't. There were days that I was out late with my friends, and those were the worst days. OCD tendencies with this, you know. I was using the Fitbit as like a primary player in this uh, 100 burpee challenge. But on day six, my Fitbit randomly broke. I think it was water damage. And on day seven, I almost didn't do 100 burpees. I thought, man, the tracking is, is off. I'm not gonna have bad data. What's gonna happen with this challenge? But really, I just had to show up and do it. Now, I had a little bit of a schedule with the burpees. I'd wake up, take my dog out, pipe down some coffee, and then go do 100 before taking a cold shower and going to work. For me, getting up and hitting the mat doing those 100 burpees was kind of like eating a frog, but there were days when that got thrown off. I went to go visit my family. They have a garage. Perfectly capable of doing burpees in. How many do you do today, Chase? 100. There were even days when I just slept in. We all have days like that, so I didn't do them in the morning. Um, so on my lunch break, I would just run down to the gym and bust them out real quick. It doesn't take that much time. You could do this on your lunch break. Which brings me to takeaway number five. People at the gym would see me doing these 100 burpees and they'd be like, wow, that's crazy. I can't believe you're doing that. And then they'd hop on the treadmill for an hour and I had been in and out in 15 minutes. Do less with intention. You know, how did you learn about the exercise routine you have? Did you pick it up from somebody that looks and feels the way you want to look and feel? If not, you might want to reassess what you're doing.